The OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T are two of some of the most popular devices on the XDA forums. And this means there's a lot of developer support for these two devices. So there's a lot of custom ROMs out there to choose from. So I wanted to go through a few of them just to give you an idea of what kind of features and how the custom ROM will look on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. So today I'm going to show you some of the features included in the official build of Lineage OS 14.1. So as you can see here, we have the stock Lineage OS app drawer. And we have some stock features here since I went with a minimal version of Google Apps. Now some, of, some custom ROMs will actually have their own dedicated section within the settings application to put their unique features in there. I generally like this because it keeps all of the new features specific to that custom ROM in an easy to find place. But it's not like that for Lineage OS and it never was like that for CyanogenMod. At least the more recent builds. So instead these features are actually included in the normal settings menus. Now there are some unique ones like buttons and additional buttons, gestures, but more often than not the Lineage OS features are actually included in the regular settings menu options. So I'm just going to go through here and show you some of these features. So we have a live display in the display section. So you can choose a color profile. You can set your own color temperature. You can choose if you want the device to go into automatic outdoor mode. They've got a color calibration feature, a picture adjustment feature, and a feature that will reduce power consumption. You have an option to wake the device whenever you plug it in to a charger. You can choose to double tap to wake the device. And there's a security measure here where you can prevent accidental wake up if the device determines that the phone is either in your pocket, face down on the table, or anything like that. There is expanded desk desktop, which you can either set to all on, or you can only you can choose to have it set for individual applications. Now, if you have the software status bar or software navigation bar at the bottom, then it will hide that just like it hides the status bar whenever you enable it. And that means you'll just have to swipe up from the bottom to make the navigation bar appear, just like you swipe out down from the top to make the status bar appear. I really like this on AMOLED devices since it helps to prevent screen burn in from the time and battery icons as well as the navigation buttons. Then we have the regular notifications. There are some sound options here. You can launch the default music player whenever Lineage OS detects that a headset has been connected. You can set the vibrator intensity. Choose to if you want to set vibrations on tap, charging sounds.
There are a few gestures that are baked into Lineage OS. So some touchscreen gestures. So drawing a caret symbol will open the dialer. Drawing a V will open up the camera. Drawing a less than sign will switch to the previous music track. Greater than sign to the next one. And they have play pause and a few other gestures that you can actually customize to a few other things. So if you want the greater than sign to open up the browser, you can set that up. You can also enable or disable the jump to camera and the double tap to sleep which is pretty nice since you can just double tap the status bar to put the device to sleep just like you can double tap it to wake it up. Then we have the buttons sections to where we can enable the, na the on-screen navigation bar, set left-handed mode, you can customize that navigation and you can choose if you want to disable the bright the lights for the, the hardware buttons from here you have the option to set up your power menu as you can see by default the airplane mode is set up there but you can disable that to where you don't see airplane mode instead you can have a screenshot mode or a sound panel you can choose if you want to press the power to end the call you can long press the power button for the torch that will only work whenever the display is off you can let the home button answer a phone call and you have some long press actions for these hardware buttons Then there's an additional buttons option here for the OnePlus 3 to where you can swap the left and right. So instead of having back on the left side, you can have back on the right side. And then you have some customizations for this slider button at the top left of the, of the device. ability to change and replace our encryption password from here enabling screen pinning then we have some features that are included into lineage OS a privacy guard a way to protect applications and then the Lineage OS statistics. There's a dedicated menu for the status bar. So quick pull down is off by default, but if you turn that on, you can set it to the left or the right. So now, whenever you swipe on the right side, I believe it's like 10, 15, or 20 percent, then it will expand the entire quick settings panel. You can choose if you want to see the brightness control here. That you can do by sliding your thumb or finger back or forth across. You can show notification counts. 
on icons that are currently sitting in the status bar. So if you have multiple notifications from, say, Gmail, you'll see a notification count up there. You can control which icons are right there. If you don't want to see Do Not Disturb mode or even cellular data, you can just turn those off. Change the clock position. You can add an AM or PM notice there. Choose different types of battery statuses. Or make it hidden altogether. And you can choose to display the actual number inside or next to the icon. And we have system profiles. And that looks to be about it. I'm sure I've missed multiple features in here, but as you can see, the video is already long. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the features were, where they were located, and how a few of them work like with the quick pull down or the right and left side. So that is Lineage OS 14.1 for both the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T.